everybody watching this channel for the first time and maybe for the last time. <laughs> uh, I'm Xantip. Uh, usually I'm making videos in Polish and most of my videos are in Polish, but I decided in 2019 to start making the videos in English as well. So welcome the world of the guitarist. Uh, this channel is provided for rather the guitar maniacs, I mean the guitar gear maniacs, when, when you know, all those... I can't play like that. I play for 25 years. No bullshit, I cannot, I cannot do it. I can play riffs and I know the gear. Uh, anyway, today I would like to introduce the new series on my channel. Uh, it's called the Guitar Effects Connections uh, and in this series I will be educating the young guitarists, maybe not only, uh, how to connect the guitar effects. I'm not gonna not gonna make the videos about the you know like connections like oh distortion here, chorus here and things like that here. Maybe I will make a video like that in the future but it's gonna be rather focused on uh, two three effects playing all together and what kind of sounds we can make out of it, what kind of, of stuff we can, we, can, we can hear when, for example, we connect chorus with tremolo, phaser with flanger, and where can, where can it take us. So some of the stuff will be probably surprising for me, even though I play on, on different guitar effects for years, probably some of the stuff may be quite surprising for me as well. Uh, today I will start with quite a, a classic connection of the effects, which is distortion and phaser. I'm using distortion of Ibanez, uh, Ibanez, however you call it, DS7, very good effect out of the Tone Lock series, I, I really like it, and I'm using Polish effect of the brand which is not existing anymore in the market, it's called Exar. You could find those effects ma uh, branded Jack, Jack, Jacques, Jacques, by by French by the French company, but they were more all made as well uh, in Poland. It's it's quite famous Polish Polish effects. There is a, quite a big vibe about them. Uh, Josh from JHS effects is con co is collecting all all those Polish effects as well. So so you know like a big fan buff for him. Uh, it's it's fa it's phasing uh, as the guitar. I'm using uh, this one here. It's Dean Vendetta. That one uh, very very basic model. I've changed the pickup here uh, for EMG A81, and we got Polish amplifier called Mad Dog Prince 15 connected to Randall cabinet uh, with Celestion G100, I think, and all this mic'd up in on the other side of the wall. Uh, uh, it's uh, it's mic'd with. Odix i5. So that's so that's the whole that's the whole path here, uh, uh, and that's that's how I'm recording it. Something is interfering. Maybe it's the, it's this microphone here. Uh, uh, and today I'm just going to play some stuff on this two effects. We're going to have fun. We're going to see where where it takes us. Uh, for those who doesn't know the effects yet, uh, phaser is the effect changing the face, <laughs> like a phaser. Yeah. Uh, basically, it's like you can you can change the the I don't know like the EQ of the of the sound uh, on the long term of like, like like the wave can be long. You know, it can go even like. Like, like that, or you, it can go like wee, 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 wee. It's out of the modulation effects range. We got three knobs on this one here, which is like depth, uh, which which gives you the depth, you know, which gives you like how many, how how much of these effects is uh, uh, 
and if it if it's very if, if the wave is quite quite flattish or if or if is it like uh, you know interfering with your sound a li little bit more we got color which is uh, which is like the connected with with some kind of equalization of 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 the wave so you can add a little bit more uh, high notes you know you can you can add a little bit more of low and low and low and stuff and then we got rate which is quite important for this effect the rate uh, the rate knob will give you you know like i said if it's if it's low the wave is the wave is quite smooth yeah if it's if it's a little bit more the wave will be like will be like that if it's a little bit even more than that then it will go like extremely you know from from one side from one side to another what it's making as well it may work like a metronome like a click so what i what i what i want to say you know Changing, changing this knob will give you will give you the tempo of the of the reef, so it can inspire you for for making a special reef, special special chords, uh, uh, you know, for your for your chorus or for your verse in the song, uh, which which will make you not playing too much. You know, you can play like. <laughs> And in some way, the effect is playing for you. It's making it's making the, the vibe. It's making the groove for you. So it can be used very very well in the in the song. Of course, the most the most well known uh, phaser use of the rock guitar is "Ain't Talking About Love" by, by Eddie Van Halen, uh, which I'm not gonna which I'm not gonna play today. I'm rather focusing on my stuff. I like to I don't I don't like to play songs of of anybody else than me. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, so the rate the rate will give you will give you you know like oh, you see so it's changing it's changing the it's changing the, the let's say the tempo of it what is making this noise here can you hear this noise uh sometimes i get like interference from someone uh anyway let's start playing because i'm talking lots now and maybe nobody's listening As you can hear, 
the effect plays for you. I wasn't playing any any you know like complicated riffs. I wasn't doing any playing in tempo. I was just getting with the getting on with the groove from the effect. I was just f going with the flow of, of of this of this effect. Like I said, it may be very very inspiring to write like a one song when you use phaser. It may be very very inspiring to 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 use it like a main riff for for the chorus. I would rather go for the verse. Mm -hmm. uh, and and that's that's what what it what it can do actually. Uh, when I mentioned corn, you can go for all those you know strange strange uh, corn notes like. <laughs> So just just imagine your mate in the band. The other guitarist is playing is playing like a rhythm rhythm part, and then you just play. You just play this psychedelic. That kind of psychedelic of psychedelic uh, sounds. The possibilities are endless with with those kind of effects, and I won't show you everything today because the video would be like an hour, you know, long. I don't I don't want it. I don't want it to make a lot. Of it. I don't think even anybody's watching till this moment. If if you are, mm. anyway. Uh, uh, one more thing with with that kind of connection. So it can be like an intro for 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 the song. You know, like I said, endless endless possibilities. But if we go into you know, like connections of the effects, we need to try different way of connecting it. Never do this what I've done now. So never never unplug unplug it like with the amplifier. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, we can connect it in the way that it's in front of the overdrive, in front of your of your distortion. That will give you a little bit of, little bit of a different of a different sound. Why? Because now, as you can see, there is you see. So all the stuff coming from the phaser is distorted. So all the wave changes, all the all the things coming out of it is distorted by the distortion. Before the connection was like distorted sound, let's say guitar sound, the proper one, came through the modulation effect. So the first version of connection was like the the 
the one from the book, yeah, was one like you know that's how you that's how you're supposed to do it. But sometimes you cannot do it like that. Sometimes you're using amplifier and and you using distortion from your amplifier, but your amplifier doesn't have doesn't have the effect loop, and you cannot connect it after the after the preamp after the distortion. So you need sometimes to connect it like that, which may give you different opportunities as well of of what comes out of those two effects, because now. This phaser is distorted by the distortion and then, then it comes out. That will inspire you to different things and that will make, that will make sound a little bit different as well. So let's, let's check quickly where can it take us now and what does it, what does, what is going to do. I'll tell you, I'll tell you before I play, I'll tell you, it's going to be a little bit smoother. The effect is not going to be so, so hurt. Uh, I mean, you know, you're not going to hear it very, very like very well like like here it's not gonna be it's not gonna be so in front like like it was before it's gonna be a little bit little bit like like smoother a little bit like uh, you know a little bit lower let's see Like a like a wow pedal, yeah. If you liked it, of course, give the you know thumb up. If you didn't like it, give the thumb down. Up to you. I hope you liked that. Uh, I would like you to comment. I would like you to share uh, your you know, like experience with this kind of, of, of guitar connections. I mean, like guitar effect connection, connections. Uh, I would like you to give me some kind of uh, you know tips what you wanna hear. In the next episode, and what kind of effects you would like to, you would like to connect, and how you wanna, how you wanna hear it, and what what you wanna hear. Uh, like I said, it's it's my first video about this topic. I hope it's okay. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to, you know, I would like you to to go and look at my other English videos. So there is a playlist called the Guitar Folk. That's how that's how I call it. Uh, well, that's all for today. Thank you. Bye.